The Dunkin' Brands Group is probably best known for one thing, Dunkin' Donuts. The company is preparing for an initial public offering as early as tomorrow. This will likely raise more than $400 million for the donut maker, whose owners include private equity firms like Bain Capital and Carlyle Group. The cash will allow the Duncan Group to focus on expanding to challenge its biggest rivals. Despite its name, the company actually makes most of its money selling coffee. That's why Duncan is targeting Starbucks. On this New York block, the two companies fight for the same customers. I prefer Dunkin' Donuts over, say, a Starbucks or a specialty coffee shop just because it's not pretentious. Well, I think someone that drinks Starbucks coffee is more of a um, sophisticated coffee drinker that prefers the more fancy types of drinks. Yeah, I find more Starbucks than Dunkin' Donuts on every street corner. At least there used to be more Dunkin' Donuts than there were Starbucks, so you'd pass them on the way to work. That's where you'd stop in and get it, and it's good coffee. Here's how the two companies stack up. Seattle-based Starbucks has more than 17,000 stores in the United States. Meanwhile, Dunkin' Brands is headquartered in Massachusetts and has more than 6,700 U.S. locations. Starbucks' revenue last year was $10.7 billion, while Dunkin's was $6 billion. Dunkin's is casting itself as a coffee for the working man, a place for quick value and reliable quality. This contrasts with Starbucks, which has focused more on a lifestyle strategy. It wants its customers to see its stores as a destination. If Dunkin's strategy proves successful, Dunkin' Donuts may have to change its well-worn slogan. I'm Evelyn Rusley, reporting for The New York Times.